Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Football Manager 2018 with Zebu Nation. Wings of Glory living up to its name yet again as we make it to the Western Conference Finals in the MLS Playoffs with LAFC. We're going to be playing Portland, who was the best team in the Western Conference this season. They finished third in the Supporters' Shield. Let's take a look at these here playoffs in the eastern conference we got uh new england versus toronto and then orlando versus philadelphia so basically you know most of the top teams have gone through and then on the western side of things we got la galaxy versus real salt lake and then la fc versus portland so we could theoretically <laughs> end up with an all la finals in the western conference which wouldn't that be dandy just to you know have to face our bitter well not so bitter rival i guess our new or should be bitter rival la galaxy this would be one of those things that could spark that rivalry they beat us in the u.s cup knocked us out of that competition so maybe we could knock them out of the mls cup and that would be even sweeter revenge so let's uh Let's take a look at our makeup here. Um, yeah, I was going to look at, at uh, dynamics real quick. We haven't looked at this in a while. We're still only average match cohesion. I'm not happy about this. The players are blending well together, apparently. But our match cohesion is just average. And I'd, I'd really love to see that improve, but I guess it takes many seasons of cohesion in order for that to improve. Because I don't know... I don't know how much more cohesive we could be than we are right now. We're playing really well. It just uh, takes a, takes time, I guess, for this uh, this ability to get higher. Locker room atmosphere, though, is good. And leadership support is good as well. So we're in the green. That's good. Take a look at our hierarchy. Hierarchy is filled out a bit. Actually, it's filled out quite a bit. We got Vela as our team leader still. Even though he's not real concerned about being a team leader, just by the fact that he is our superstar, he sort of automatically gets to be our team leader. But our highly influential players has really seen a boost. we got, of course, our two captains, Caldwell and Watts, up there. Delgado has joined the group. Martinez, Stefan, and Hagland have all joined the group as team leaders. So that's really, really good. It's a lot of key players in that group right there. Take a look at who supports me. Three of our six highly influential players support us. That's good. Romney, who's also an influential player, supports me. And then a bunch of other dudes down here at the bottom of the pyramid. Mostly our rookies and our academy players are the ones who support us. Although Pacheco also, he's, he's been with me the longest, I guess. And he supports me, so that's good. And I'm giving him playing time, so he must like that. Social groups. The core social group is ever-expanding, and that's what you want. Our secondary groups are down to two holdouts apiece. Marias and Smith, the two guys who probably play the least, I guess. And then uh, Fernandez and Rodrigo, an interesting tandem down here in secondary social group B. Players who have been at the club for roughly the same amount of time and share similar levels of professionalism. Okay, that's good. We're down to three players in the others, including our most, one of our most recent, well, both of our most recent signees, Hector and Thompson. And then Negret, who is a academy player who's been injured for most of the season. Those are the only three guys left down there. Happiness. Green, green, super green. Everybody is green except for Alvarez, who wants more playing time, but he ain't going to get it. So we'll see you later, buddy. He's going he's going bye-bye at the end of this season. No need for a team meeting, I guess. So let us just go straight into our pre-match briefing. Take a look at the opponent, Portland. Biggest strength, unknown, potential weakness, Unknown. That seems not good. Let's take a look at our full report. What what are our data analysts doing? Nothing, apparently. 
We're supposed to be analyzing our next opponent. This is not good. I guess this is what uh, basic data analysts get you. And um, gets us a whole lot of nothing. All right. Uh, did we just lose out on our ability to uh, have that meeting? Yes. We just we just wasted our meeting. Okay. That's fine. We don't need a meeting. You know what to do. We're doing the same thing that we did last game, I guess. First leg is at home. So maybe... Maybe we should... Uh, I'm thinking control rather than counterattack. Because counterattack did not do well for us against Dallas. It allowed Dallas to control the play in the first half. And that's what got them their goal. Fernandez, I don't care. Get out of here. Mr. Fitness. Uh, LAFC versus Portland. Did we find out anything new about these guys in the last day or two? Not really. Carlos Penso gets a lot of cards. That's a lot of cards. 35 matches, 76 yellow cards. He averages more than two yellow cards a game. That seems 2.2 uh, .2 per match. That must be for the whole team. No, this is the referee, right? No, I don't know. Yeah, refereed by. Okay, so he he. Okay, that makes much more sense. I was like, this player averages getting kicked out of every single game. No, so we got to watch out for this ref if he's handing handing out uh, yellow cards left and right. So maybe we should back off a little bit. But anyway, team selection. Let's go, Portland. So we're going with what we always go with here, the 4-1-2-3 DM wide. We're not going to experiment. I think the only experimenting we'll do is we will go control. We'll go flexible. Team instruction will go expressive. Just to get these guys, you know, have not such a sluggish start. Maybe they can get out to... Uh, to a good start now. We got uh, fitness problems because we just played in that wild card game. Hagland, 85%. We got a perfectly fine option coming off the bench with Watts, our team captain. So Hagland, get out of there. Romney at left back, you got to stay there. Caldwell, Martinez, everybody else is, is going to have to struggle through because we got no better options coming off the bench. You know, we could bring Tejeda in. But I kind of like the option of him, having him come off the bench and give us a spark. Vela, 92%. It's not great, but it's it's start worthy. So let's go. Proceed to the match. I guess we should have done all that in our pre-match briefing, but does it really make a difference? I don't know. So here we are. Stefan, Romney, and Roa at the fullbacks. Hector, Watts, central defense. Caldwell, Delgado, Martinez. Covea, Pacheco, Vela up top. Who do they got going on here? Do I recognize any of these names? Winnegar, Mabala, Mabiala. Yeah. Oh, yeah. These are the same guys we always face every year. This is interesting, though. They got Nagby down in the midfield along with Guzman. Blanco out left. He's usually on the right. Milano is in, Adi, of course, is up top. So who, they're missing somebody important. Um, they are missing somebody important. I'm trying to think of his name right now. Um, come on, guys, show me what you can do. Let's go, let's go. Starts with a V, Viela? Maybe? I don't know. They're missing somebody, though, but they've still got pretty good reserves. And they've got a very dangerous team out there, so we got to watch out for these guys. We are in the home whites. And Portland gets the steal right away. Nagby, and there ends the highlight. Okay. So this is fine. We need to keep them from getting an away goal. That would be key. So if we just control the game, win 1-0, 2-0, 3-0, 5-0, that's fine. All right, here's Portland throwing on the near side. Powell into Guzman. He's getting harassed there, but he gets it out wide to Powell, who is unchecked. 
Ooh, somewhat dangerous cross there that Stefan mishandles a little bit, but he picks it up. It's fine. It's fine. No harm, no foul. Sends it downfield. Portland again has it. Milano, Guzman. Take a drink here. Powell gets it forward. We got to watch Powell. Adi. Okay. This looks familiar. Go down early and come back. But they got their away goal. Not happy about this. We got we to gotta close down on this fullback coming down the field here. Powell. He's, he's made several plays here, and then that's just a great pass. Not much you can do about that. So we're going to pause. Go to tactics. Go to tactics. Go to... Where is opposition? There we go. Fullback Powell. Close down. Close down. Our other guy should be getting closed down. Like the other positions should be getting closed down automatically. So that's fine. Okay. And then no time like the present to go on attack. We'll stay flexible for now. Let's not panic and go crazy, but we'll just, you know, we gotta make up. Uh, we gotta make up that goal. Hopefully, before the end of the half would be nice. Uh, let's hit play. That would also be nice. Eight minutes in counting. Let's see a highlight. Here we go. Romney near side throw into Delgado. Caldwell at the top of the b b b box, and he just sort of boots it out of bounds. I don't know if that was supposed to be a cross, but I think it was a shot, and it was not a very good one, unfortunately. Don't really want Caldwell taking too many shots. Here's Powell now for Portland with a throw-in on the near side to Chara. Powell again. Guzman with the finish. Aye. Is this the end? Are we out of our depths? It's so not good. Is it no good? Throw in. It's just, you know, our defense is scrambling. They look like they know what they're doing. And we look like we don't know what we're doing. All right, so that's two goals down. It's kind of like being four goals down because they got the uh, or three goals down. Because they got uh, the two away goals. So that means we need three goals to surpass them. There's no tie in them unless we get two away goals as well. So it's difficult. Here's Stefan with the goal kick. Just boots it. Sarkodi gets it forward to Blanco. Chara, Guzman. Powell, again, will close down on him finally, but that could cause difficulties of its own. Nagby has it. Portland's just playing with us now. Powell is yet again wide open. There's a nice steal by Pacheco. Vela gets it forward to Cavea. Cavea looking, looking, gets it stolen, but Caldwell is there to recover. Martinez has it now. Delgado forward to Vela. Vela is surrounded. Surrounded. He drops it wide to Roa, who just crosses it into the ether. Just throws the ball out of bounds. Watts and Roa not great looking. None of our players have real good averages at all. Or ratings, I should say. <sighs> this is a sloppy, sloppy first half. We're getting... Uh, Outplayed at every position at the moment. Let's go, boys. Here we go. Free kick. Munoz. Yes. Oh, Watts with the header. Nice save, though. The play worked to perfection. It's just uh, it was a nice stop by the goalkeeper. Struggled to control possession. Yeah. And our finishing is letting us down. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. That's pretty much what's happening right now. Guzman over here, an 8.2 rating for Portland. Adi with a 7.1 and a goal. Milano, two assists. 
They're picking us apart. Two minutes left in stoppage time, and there's the end of the first half. Not good at all. Analysis, what do you got for me? All right, got some options here. Decent amount of shots, but they're long range. So let's work the ball in the box. That's acceptable. Struggle to control possession. Guzman is making things. So, yep, mark him always. Retain possession. Is that what we want to do? I mean, we can give it a shot. Pep talk. Um, let's go passionate. Um, everyone is expecting to see a much better showing from you in the second half. No, nope, nobody cares about that passionate talk. Actually, some people look to switch off. I don't like that at all. They didn't like the passionate plea. They're more of a sensible, sensible group. All right, here we are, starting the second half. Down two goals. Let's see if we can get something back here, boys. Guzman out wide to Powell, who is still wide open. Delgado with a nice tackle. It's not like we're playing the diamond formation where we don't have players who could be out there. Maybe it's just Covea, oh, Covea 6.2 rating. Martinez to Watts. He gets the header down, but the defense is there. Covea is going to get it back out wide. He does to Martinez. Martinez, oh, interesting cross right at the goalkeeper's feet. Almost didn't know how to handle that. All right, clock's running. We're going to have to make some subs here soon. Make some changes at the 60-minute point, I guess. I mean, not that we have all this time to waste, but we'll give him a shot. We'll give him a chance to make something happen. Roa looks uninterested. Let's yell and say, show some passion. Show some passion. 60-minute mark. Here we go. Oh, corner for Blanco for Portland. Header goes over the net. And 60 minutes. All right. Tactics. Let's make some changes. Let's see what we can see, see what we can do. Number one change, Tejeda in for Kavea with his 6.3 rating. I mean, maybe we could bring in Rodrigo for Vela, but that seems like a bad idea. Less. Uh, we could move Vela to the wing. Rodrigo up top. I mean, we're getting desperate now. Rodrigo, um, target man. Vela, inside forward. Tack. Um, Tejeda also inside forward support. And then we'll bring our fullbacks forward. Attack. And Romney, likewise, attack. So now we got our inside forwards charging in. Boom, boom. And we got our fullback screaming down the sidelines, going in full attack mode. Anything else we can do team instruction-wise? We can close down more. We can go at a higher tempo. Take away retain possession. We'll save stuck in for the end. Confirm changes. All right, let's go. Let's make those changes. Vela is looking motivated, or I mean Pacheco is looking motivated, but 6.4 rating, who cares? Play that funky music, let's go. All right, let's see some action. Let's see something happen here. 63 minutes and counting. Portland is just going to lay back now. They got no need. They don't need to do anything. Just find that bus and park it. Here we go. Roa, corner kick. No, nothing happening there. Tejeda just blasts it in wide. If even our corners are failing us, what chance do we have? Here's Mabiala with the free kick in. 
Sakodi tracks it down to Milanio. Oof. They're getting way too many chances. It's just, uh, they, they're the superior team. I mean, it just seems to be coming down to that. Blanco with the corner kick. Oh, Fenger almost scores. Chara gets it back out to Sakodi. I mean, that's just luck that they didn't score there. They still got a chance to score again. Milano tackled by Caldwell, and it uh, goes out for another corner. Fans are getting restless. There's some boos coming from the stands. There's Guzman now is going to try the corner. Sends it in. Delgado heads it out. Rodrigo. Yeah, doesn't control it, but at least we get it out of there. Here's another free kick for Portland. Powell sends it in, headed out by Martinez. Vela tracks it down. Vela. Vela. Okay. Roa sends it forward. No good. Delgado, though, tracks it down. Out wide to Tejeda. Te, um, Tejeda gets mixed up with Delgado. And they turn the ball over. Nagby in on goal. Three. Wow. Second leg is going to be pretty brutal, boys and girls. Second leg. I mean, look at Tejeda. What are you doing? You just... I mean, he's not the most match-fit dude in the world, but come on. He's a talented veteran. He's like 30 years old. He ought to know how to play this sport by now. Not happy. Not happy. Delgado's... It could have been Delgado's fault, too. He's at 58% and counting. Let's get him out of there. Bring in um, a Kogu. All right. Let's go... Roa is apparently uninterested in what's going on with his 6.2 rating. Come on, boys. Let's perk up here. All right, we got our update pending. Here's another free kick for Portland. Nagby has it. Goes around one defender, goes around the edge, centers to Adi. Oh, Stefan makes a stop. Thank goodness. That should be a children's book. Stefan makes a stop. Here's Portland again with another highlight. No, Romney with the steal. Romney has it far side, chunks it forward to Rodrigo, heads it on to Tejeda. Now we got something going. Tejeda trying to make up for his problems. Vela just takes a shot. I mean, like, everybody's pressing, so he's trying to make a play, but, I mean, you could, you could have dribbled in a little farther and made it a little tougher on the goalkeeper. Here we go. Here's Roa throwing near side. Rodrigo. Rodrigo back to Roa. Centers to a Kogu. Out wide to Romney. Not the best pass in the world. Romney has to drop it all the way back to Hector across midfield. Watts finally restarts the offense to Caldwell. A Kogu. Martinez surrounded. Drops it back again to Watts, who just boots it forward to Rodrigo. Heads it back. A Kogu gathers it into Haida. We're just we're we're just trying stuff now. We're just pressing. Martinez has it. Can he get it? Nope. Let's get it near side. I think we need to play wider. I'm gonna shout some instructions to play wider. Here's Romney sending it into Rodrigo. Rodrigo has it with a shot on target. That's our man. 75% of his shots go on target, so this is pretty good. Free kick, Rua hands. Yes, the corner play gets us back, not in the game, but gets us back some respectability. Jared Watts assists by Roa. Nice, nice play. There it is. So simple, but so effective. I should put a link to that corner play every time we score a goal in a video, you know, because it's 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 out there for download. I think like 80 people have downloaded it now. So that's good. That's 80 people scoring goals. All right. There's Romney heading it on. Here's Portland on the attack. Guzman has it now to Milano. Adi again. We're just leaving Adi open in the middle of our defense. It's not really what we should be doing. But, uh, you know, it's happening. 88 minutes down. Two goal deficit. I guess it's now or never for getting stuck in. 
Playing all the way forward. Okay, here's Sakoti centers it. Oh, Blanco gets deflected, but man, they are just all over our six yard box. They are just they're parking they're parking the bus on our side of the pitch. That's no good. Is that even can you do that? I don't know. They're making a home, whatever it is. Nagby heads it in. Stefan has to gather the ball in through a crowd. Less than 30 seconds left in stoppage time. So as long as they don't get another goal, we're going to be in a two-goal deficit. Milano, Adi is wide open. They pass it across to Blanco. Portland fans are enjoying that. 93rd minute goal. I mean, look at He's got so many options. He just goes cross goal to Blanco. Wide open tap in goal. So we had saved somewhat respectability. We would have only been down two goals. Now we're down three goals going into the away leg. Not looking good. Youch. Yowza, yowza, yowza. Dressing room. This is not going to be a happy dressing room. You shall be assertive. You were not good enough today. That's a match we should have been winning? What? That's not what I want to say. I don't know. I guess that's all I can say. Not good enough. All right, that motivated them somewhat. All right, get out of here. Let's get out of here. Portland ease to victory. Pre Ugh, ouch. All right. I don't want to talk about this ever again. Um, I'm trying to decide, do we end the video here, make it a short video, and then come back for the second leg? I guess so. Might as well. All right. So... Yeah, I guess we'll see you next time for what will probably be the off season very quickly after our next game. So until then, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.